Now back to CBS 4's Health Alert. CBS 4's Gary Nelson joins us right now from Wynwood, one of the Miami-Dade Zika zones, where the fight over Zika is turning political. Gary? Yes, it is. Now, the good news today, no new locally acquired cases of Zika reported in the state of Florida. Amid that news, a desperate plea here for Congress to go back to work and develop a Manhattan Project-style attack on the virus. At Miami Beach's David's Cafecito Cafe, a congresswoman and local leaders lashed out at Washington. Congress taking an 11-week vacation as Florida and the nation face a Zika crisis. This is our, we hate to say, we told you so moment. Um, but we told you so. Along party lines, Congress has refused to fund an emergency $1.9 billion anti-Zika effort. This would eventually happen. and. We kept saying it and kept saying it, and Republicans stuck their heads in the sand, and here we are. Being held up, money to battle the Zika-carrying mosquito, but more important, to find a vaccine for the disease. The well will run dry by the end of September. We need federal help. We need the federal government to step up and do what's necessary. Health risks aside, there is also the $11 billion Miami Beach tourism industry that already is seeing visitor cancellations. But to the extent visitors don't visit here, half are international, half are domestic, people won't be working in this restaurant. They won't be working in the hotels. There was heat for Governor Rick Scott today, who local leaders say broadsided them with an announcement Friday of Zika on Miami Beach after denying any confirmed cases only the night before. Scott was in Wynwood today visiting a middle school, leaving the beach's mayor all the more bristling. I just wish he would come to Miami Beach because Miami Beach, as we know, is one of the most important, biggest economic generators in the entire state. So probably a good place to come visit if you're coming down here. Scott wouldn't respond to suggestions of grandstanding on Zika. Every piece of information we put out is going to be accurate and it's going to be timely. timely. The governor insists he briefed local leaders on Zika at the beach, but that was only after his news conference bombshell on Friday. Now, a spokesperson for Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez said the mayor thanked the governor today for a million dollars in state funds to help offset the local costs that Zika, Zika has cost us so far. At the same time, the spokesperson said, Mayor Jimenez said there are some communication problems with the state. We're live in Wynwood, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you.